1D or 2D string theory um, inside of particles that make up particles. This is not possible under the laws of volume of geometry. There's a law of volume that states that nothing can exist unless it has volume or it ceases to exist because if you take one dimension of height, width, or depth away from anything, it ceases to exist. And string theory is a sign of the one and only matrix. It's a sign of the matrix. If you do, in fact, ever detect a string theory, you are probably in the matrix. And uh, I don't believe in string theory. I believe everything is probably made of volume. Every particle that exists, no matter how big or how small or infinitely divided, it is of volume. You, and everything that we're doing in the standard model and everything that could ever exist, space, gravity, any particle, and we think that gravity is a particle, it's a particle interaction, and um, all things that ever exist are particles, and they have volume. If they don't, then we are probably in the matrix. Uh, because the law of geometry is the law of volume. You cannot ever defeat the law of volume because it does. It can't be possible that something could exist without volume because this law is the most important law of everything, anything in, that could ever exist is that it has to have volume. 1D and 2D cannot exist. They simply have no, no volume. Which means that there's zero. Like if you start at the face of something one dimensional or two dimensional. First of all, what is one dimensional? One dimension can't ever exist. There's no such thing as one dimension. It would not be an object. One dimension is nothing but the beginning, the origin of the universe. Before it ever existed. Okay, and then two dimensions is like a rectangle which is basically a line, but the problem with that is, is that it has no depth, and without depth, it doesn't have a face. When it doesn't have a face, it can't exist. There's no such thing as 1D or 2D. Everything that exists must have volume. It cannot exist in any other way. Otherwise, if you detect something that, that, that appears to be 1D or 2D, you're in the matrix. And um, it can't exist. It's just most likely you're missing the truth if you ever find something that's 1D or 2D. It always has to have volume. It has to be a polygon, a uh, cube, uh, some type of any kind of voluminous object, a uh, sphere, something. It can never, ever be less than. 3D. Okay? So that's the fact be known. The law of volume is a law. It's absolutely a law. And I'm the only one talking about it right now. Um, it's pretty much what it is. It's the law of volume. You cannot defeat this law. If you do, you're in the matrix. That means your whole life is just a simulation. And you are a machine. Because humans can't coexist with machines because of the patternization of the connection of the machine geometrically to any one given brain that could possibly exist in, in potentially depending on the universe that you're in, um, you wouldn't exist, would coexist in, in the workings of the machine. Um, geometrically, it wouldn't align with your particles, or at least in what we know about humans right now. But if you were another kind of creature that was totally disguised by the Matrix, you might be able to line up with the Matrix. I don't know that for certain. You might be another kind of organism or creature of life. Um, we don't know what you are. But most likely, to our understanding currently, 
The only thing that could ever live in the matrix is a machine. A brain made out of me me electrical, mechanical, chemical parts. Um, but if this was all different kinds of matter, different structures of, of brains, different kinds of creatures, living beings, this might work in a different way. So that would be in a totally different universe than what we're aware of. So like, this is not possible. But string theory is not real. Um, no one has ever proven it. Um, don't ever validate this bullshit. Because it can't exist. 1D and 2D cannot exist. These 1D, 2D strings, they cannot exist. It does not matter what they say. The law of volume is absolute. 